Climate Change, The Facts, by Alan Moran is a persuasive and thought-provoking essay that challenges the prevailing narrative on climate change. In this essay, Moran articulates his skepticism regarding the dominant discourse on climate change and offers a contrarian perspective. He posits that the science behind climate change is not as settled as it is often portrayed and highlights the potential economic consequences of aggressive climate policies. Moran's argument hinges on his assertion that climate science is far from a consensus, and he questions the effectiveness of the measures proposed to combat climate change. Moran begins by emphasizing the significance of climate change as a societal issue and acknowledges its complexity. He points out that climate change discussions often oversimplify the science and overlook dissenting voices. This sets the stage for his central argument, that the mainstream portrayal of climate science as settled is misleading. Moran contends that the climate is a dynamic and unpredictable system, making accurate long-term predictions challenging. He supports this claim by highlighting past climate predictions that have proven to be inaccurate. This stance aligns with climate skeptics who argue that climate models have limitations and should not be considered gospel. One of Moran's key arguments is that climate science has been politicized, resulting in a suppression of dissenting views. He asserts that dissenters are often labeled as deniers and marginalized, preventing open and constructive debate. This resonates with concerns raised by some skeptics who argue that the scientific community has been influenced by political agendas. However, Moran could strengthen his argument by providing concrete examples of how dissenting voices have been suppressed or marginalized, as this would make his claim more convincing. Moran also delves into the economic implications of aggressive climate policies. He argues that the transition to renewable energy sources and carbon reduction measures could have detrimental effects on the economy particularly in terms of job losses and increased energy costs. He highlights the potential consequences of policy decisions that prioritize climate goals over economic stability. However, Moran could bolster this argument by presenting data and case studies that demonstrate the economic impact of climate policies. In discussing climate policy, Moran touches on the concept of the precautionary principle which advocates taking action to prevent potential catastrophic events even in the absence of conclusive evidence. He suggests that this principle has been used to justify climate policies, but he questions whether the potential benefits of such policies outweigh the economic and social costs. Moran raises a valid point about the need to balance environmental concerns with economic realities, but he could provide more in-depth analysis and evidence to support his argument. Throughout the essay, Moran draws on various examples and anecdotes to illustrate his points. For instance, he cites instances of climate alarmists making predictions of imminent catastrophe that have not come to pass. While these examples serve to reinforce his skepticism, they may not be sufficient to sway readers who are deeply committed to the prevailing climate change narrative. Moran could strengthen his argument by engaging with counterarguments and addressing potential weaknesses in his position. In conclusion, Climate Change, The Facts, by Alan Moran presents a contrarian perspective on climate change that challenges the prevailing narrative. Moran questions the settled nature of climate science, raises concerns about the politicization of the issue, and highlights the potential economic consequences of aggressive climate policies. While his essay provides a valuable counterpoint to mainstream views, it would benefit from a more comprehensive analysis of the scientific consensus, a deeper exploration of the economic implications, and a more robust engagement with opposing viewpoints. Nonetheless, Moran's essay serves as a reminder of the importance of open and informed debate in addressing the complex issue of climate change.